Shalom, and welcome to Bible Stories as Blueprints of the Soul, your Biblical Hebrew podcast. Shalom and welcome to our Biblical Hebrew podcast. Today I wish to speak about two verses from Exodus 2. Those verses are 5 and 6. We shall read them in English, translate them into Hebrew and see how we abstract the verses. Exodus 2 verse 5 Vateret bat paro lirchutz al hayeor and the daughter of Pharaoh went down to wash upon the Nile. Ven aoteha holchot aliad hayo, and her maidens are walking next to the Nile. The Hebrew verse Ven aoteha holchot. Aliyad Hayo is written in present form. This is why I translated to present progressive in English. Because the English translation often is not loyal. Vatere et hateva betoch hasuf. And she saw the ark between or within the tifa vatishlach et amata and she sent her maiden vatikacheha and her maiden took the ark verse 6 vatiftach Vatir ehu et hayelid. And she opened and she saw him, the child. Vehine naar boche. And here a weeping boy. Vatachmol alav. And she mercied him. Vatomer. And she said, Miel day ha ivrim ze. From the children of the Hebrews, this. What kind of idea do we have here, which the Bible describes for us in present form? The daughter of Pharaoh going down to wash on the Nile. This is very interesting because the Hebrew says, Ha Yeo, the Hebrew name of the river Nile in Egypt is Yeo, and the Nile Ha Yeo. A secret reading of this word would be Yeo, Yud, O, the letter Yod, the ten spheres. The covenant between man and God is a light. So, the daughter of Pharaoh goes down or went down to wash upon the ten elements of light. In Hebrew, ha yeo. In English, the Nile, but it's not river. I want you to pay attention. Yeo, yeo, yud, o. Yod is ten, the covenant between man and God, the full expression of wholeness in this life. Yud, o. Ye, o. This is the Hebrew name of the river Nile. But when we abstract the reading and we don't speak about geographical Egypt or the river Nile, 
they're geographical so when we abstract it we speak it in hebrew ye o yud o yod ten spheres or light ten spheres of light she's going to wash on the ten spheres of light venaroteha holchot al yad hayo and her maidens are walking present are walking at this moment this is present please pay attention to the tenses in the bible because this is not an historical reading of the story it is happening now the daughter of pharaoh went down to wash upon the ten spheres of light and her maidens her helpers are walking this moment next to the yeo next to the ten spheres of light so what do we have here as a situation she's going down down to wash in ten spheres of light when a person wants to meet light first he has to minimize himself because person with self importance he cannot meet the light so she's going down to wash to purify in ten spheres of light this is the daughter of pharaoh but and here the vav vena arotea and her maidens to negate vena arotea holchot al yad hayor they are walking next to the ten spheres of light at this moment they are there and now the verse moves to daughter of pharaoh situation vatere et hateva and she saw the ark betoch hasuf within the tifa tifa is those any kinds of bushes that grows next to sweet water or salt water in hebrew suf suf betoch hasuf within the suf suf is also sof and from this uh, plant we also make papyrus we make papers and once we write something down on paper this is the end we put everything into and please pay attention to those connections vatere et hateva betoch hasuf and she saw the ark within the tifa within the suf plant within the end of time we might say vatishlach et amata and she sent her maiden vatikhia and her maid took the ark Let's look at the function of daughter of Pharaoh. She is the one who sees the ark within the tifa, betoch asuf, but she is the one who sees, the one who thinks, but her maiden, but she sends her maiden to do the physical action of pulling the ark or taking the ark from the water. verse 6 vatiftakh and she opened vatirehu and she saw him et hayeled the child vehine here and here naar bokhe a weeping boy va tahamol alav and she mercied him vatomer and she said miyaldei ha'ivrim ze from the children of the hebrews this so what do we do when we see those verses how do we read them when we want to abstract things we have to see the four letters of the name yod he vav he and Whenever we see those four letters in front of our spiritual eyes we have to connect them to the written words here 
so yod he vav he let's start with the first he at the moment i shall skip the yod and we shall return to it the first he of the name is the daughter of pharaoh she is going down to wash in the ten spheres of light why she's going down we said this before because when a person wants to meet the light he has to minimize his entity to make himself empty and clean here the hebrew word ha yeo ha yeo is written in four letters hey yod alif resh hey yod in a way is written in is the two letters hey and yod are the two letters that creates the first part of the name of god if they were written opposite yod hey ya it was the first part of the name of god ya but here it's opposite hey yod ha yo something is not according to the order so the daughter of pharaoh goes down to wash ha yo and the daughter of pharaoh is the first he letter of the name ve naarotea holchot al yad ha yo and her maidens are walking this moment next to the nile or next to hayo next to the 10 spheres of light ha yo hayud it is o what does it mean her maidens are the letter vav the letter vav from the name so the daughter of pharaoh is the first hey of the name maidens are the letter vav from the name and this is why they are walking at this moment in the present the vav is always the present vatere et hateva betocha suf and she saw the ark within the tifa betocha suf those plants that growing onto the water seeing is related to wisdom the sense of visualization is related to wisdom wisdom is always see from far vatishlach et amata vatikaha and she sent her maiden and she took it but as we said before her maiden is the letter vav so the letter he the daughter of pharaoh the first letter he of the name hashem sends the letter vav her maiden to take the ark and what is the ark the ark is the second letter he of the name so we already have three letters of the name the daughter of pharaoh is the first he maidens in general are the letter vav the special maiden that she sent to take the ark is the operating vav at the moment to take the ark which is the second letter he of the name and the ark as we know teva is a word in hebrew to pull the ark to pull the word from the river of time verse 6 vatiftakh vatirehu et ha yelad and she opened and she saw him the child vehine naar bokhe and here a weeping boy vatakhamol alav and she mercied him 
ותומר, and she said, מילדי העברים זה, from the children of the Hebrews this. So, let's abstract this picture. Who or what is in the ark? The Bible says first time, it's a child and then it's a boy. And let's abstract it. It's the letter Yod of the name. In the ark, the child or the boy is the letter Yod of the name of God. So, let's see how the Bible scroll this picture to people who want to read the secret level of the text and connect to the truth. We have four letters of the name, Yod, Hey, Vav, Hey. At the moment, we put the Yod aside because we start reading on verse 5. So, to abstract those two verses, those and all the Bible deals with the four letters of the name in different dressing in time and space. So, we have four letters, Yod, Hey, Vav, Hey. The first hey letter is the daughter of Pharaoh. The Vav, in general, are her maidens who are walking at this bare moment on ha yeor Yod, ten times light, ha yeor ten times light. And the operating Vav is her extension. And the daughter of Pharaoh is not just hey letter of the name, is also a metaphor for understanding. So the understanding, see, or the wisdom, which is encapsulated in understanding, sees the ark and sends one of those maidens who are walking next to the Nile. They are there, always there. We have this vav, because what is happening to the daughter of Pharaoh is, is not just historical story. It is we are also, all of us as readers, are the daughters, even if we are masculine, male, biologically written on paper, we are all of us the daughter of Pharaoh. Wisdom and understanding beyond time and space. And we see the ark, Teva, in the Tifa, in the Suf, at the end. And the daughter of Pharaoh, the letter He, the first letter of the name, sends her Vav. The Vav is always an allegory for the tree of life or the hook. In our life, we are all of this component together. We are the daughter of Pharaoh. We are her maidens who are walking Al Hayeo on the ten spheres of light. We are the one who sends one of our maidens, the letter Vav, to operate for us, one of our arms, to pull the ark from the water. The ark, Teva, is a word, and we pull the word from the river of time. And what is inside the ark? The letter Yod, the first letter of the name, Yod, hold the potential. And the child or the boy is crying. The potential is crying because the intention was to drown him. The ten spheres of light. This is what Pharaoh wants. To, that the boys, that all boys male. The male is not a biological male only. It's the soul. The human soul is a male. Zachar in Hebrew is a male. Zachar is the one who remembers the soul remembers where it comes from so pharaoh wants to deny this remembering function of the soul he wants to drown the soul in time in the river of time so and the daughter of pharaoh this is very interesting aspect of us all of us are the daughter of pharaoh going to wash in the ten spheres of light, see 
there is an ark, not just a box of wood or a basket. There's something, a word. And we send one of our extensions, maiden, a vav, a hook, to pull the word from the water of time. And what is in the ark? A weeping boy. The whole potential of the soul to speak, to be happy, to share, to lead the spirit. And what do we see in the ark? The letter Yod is crying. The boy is crying. The letter Yod, the whole potential of life, of liveliness, of happiness, of creating, of thinking of communicating, of gathering, of lifting the mood of all humanity, is crying in the ark. Pharaoh's law does not want the human spirit to lead people. So this is why the daughter of Pharaoh feels mercy for the weeping child and let this potential of the ten spheres live. So this was a little conversation today about the daughter of Pharaoh, about her maidens, about the ark, and about the child which is in the ark, and about ourselves in general as humans. So we wish you a beautiful day and wonderful week. Thank you for listening to Bible Stories as Blueprints of the Soul. We hope that you enjoyed this episode. If you have any questions, comments, or would like to hear more about a certain topic, just write us an email to hebrew at learnoutlife.com. We are always happy to hear from you. For more episodes, videos, and articles like this, please visit our website at hebrew.learnoutlife.com. We also would like to invite you to join our live classes. Just search for Online College of Biblical Hebrew on Facebook and start learning now with students from all over the world. Kol Tuv and Shalom.